Hello, um, today I thought I'd do a quick video on my latest purchase. Uh, it's the Wild Country Helm 2 tent with the um, corresponding footprint that comes with it. I'm um, just going to set it up, show you what I think about it. Um, I've used it once so far, so I'll tell you what I think about it, how it goes together, uh, where I bought it, and um, yeah, we'll see what it's like. Bear with me. So I bought it for a couple of reasons. Um, firstly the price, got the whole thing for about 160 quid. The budget wouldn't stretch much further than that. Uh, I'm looking to do more four season or three stroke four season camping. So I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more robust than the tent I'd had previously, which although was a lot lighter, um, probably wasn't up to winter camping. Um, and also I wanted something that would pitch inner and outer at the same time. Um, just wanted it easy. Um, quite a lazy camper so I thought that would do the job um, and it seems to tick all the boxes and uh, comes in at bang on two and a half kilos which includes the footprint as well which for winter camping I can accept it's not a problem um, got a good rucksack so uh, it's not a problem at all uh, it also packs down pretty small um, this is it in its normal state what I do is take the poles out put the poles separate into the side of my pack and that gives me a lot of them smaller pack size and I can easily attach it to the outside of my rucksack which I'll show you now. So as you can see taking the poles out and the pegs which I'll put inside the rucksack packs down much smaller very lightweight so it's not a problem to be on the outside of the rucksack and the extra weight of the poles won't then drag you back. So uh, I'll show you what's inside. Really strong but very lightweight pegs. Really like those. And two colour coded tent poles, which will become more apparent in a minute. Let's get set up. So that's the ground sheet all pegged out. Uses most of the pegs that come in the pack. Um, really like using them because it obviously protects the, the, the inner tent from any sticks and stones that might be underneath. Gives you a chance to see where your tent's gonna be before you actually set it out properly. Um, yeah, it's very, very easy to do. If it was raining, I'd probably just use, put the tent up first, then lay out the inner, sorry, the, the ground sheet and then put the tent on top. So not surprisingly, the blue pole goes into the blue colour coded sleeve. Then from there, just clip it onto the outside of those grommets there. And do the same on the other end. red pole has already been pre-bent the joints there which makes it a little bit easier to slide in over the top and I'll just do the same at the bottom
So from there, the tent structure is pretty much in place. You move it up now, you need to pick it up, move it around, and just drop it into place. Just a case of then hooking the tabs over the pegs. The last thing to do, grab the inner underneath the outer, just hook it over the remaining pegs and you've got a tighten there. That will bring it all in. But it will, it's got quite a bit of bunge on it so you can move it back and just repeat that all the way around. There we have it, all done. Just need to peg out the guy lines. Got two very good ventilation holes there. Very sturdy. Really strong fabric. And the great thing is, as you can see, it's got two vestibules either side, uh, both of which has their own entrance. So if you want it to be very spacious, one man tent. You've got loads of room to put all your gear in, or there's still plenty of room for two because each person can have their own entrance. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, huge entrance. The extended ground sheet goes all the way out into the vestibule as well, so it's going to keep all your kit dry. Um, plenty of room inside, and that's matched on the other side as well with the other door. As you can see, and I've also put a little ring into the top there, which makes my light easier to hang. And then you've got matching pockets gear pockets at each end for each person potentially and like I said loads of room inside for two people nice big porch area plenty of room between the inner and outer there's no chance of any condensation and the whole structure of the tent feels very very secure and it's not even pegged out properly yet so overall very happy with it. I've used it once so far on Dartmoor and for my first time pitching it went up really really easily probably five minutes for the whole thing um, which I like especially if it's bad weather which it very often is in this country it's gonna be really really easy to put up uh, and like I said very robust in windy conditions so for the price I think it was 160 quid all in um, I'm going to feel pretty confident using it in pretty inclement weather in the winter so yeah time will tell um, the outer doesn't have a double zip but for 160 quid I probably wouldn't expect it to it would have been nice but I'll live with it there we go thanks for watching hope it uh, was of some use to you Pass the dog.